In this video, I'll show you the top 7 plants that thrive in closed terrariums. So, what exactly is a terrarium? A terrarium is a sealed ecosystem that simulates a tropical climate. This ecosystem is only applicable to enclosed terrariums. If you want to make an open terrarium, these plants are not for you. The most important thing if you want your terrarium to last longer is to choose the right plants. So the best terrarium plants are tropical plants that are good at adapting to the terrarium environment because they love humidity, moisture, warmth, and indirect sunlight. When selecting plants, always keep in mind to combine plants that have similar requirements. Let me show you my top 7 plants for closed terrariums. Peperomia hoffmanii is a member of the Piperaceae family. It is a small trailing species from Central and South America. Peperomias are evergreen perennials with simple, succulent leaves and tiny greenish-white flowers. The leaves are small and dense. They are light green in color and trail across the soil surface. That makes them ideal for terrariums. They grow quickly, so you'll have a lovely carpet in your terrarium in a matter of months. It should be kept in light conditions ranging from indirect sunlight to partial shade. They thrive in growing light. The most important characteristic is that they prefer humid environments ranging from 60 to 90 percent humidity. They are also very easy to spread. Simply cut any healthy stem and plant it directly in the terrarium. It will begin to grow without any prior propagation. This is how it looks in a closed terrarium six months later. When I planted it here it was one stem, the same as the one I cut off today. Nerve plant or Phytonia is a member of the Acanthaceae family. Phytonia are native to South America, with the majority of them found in Peru. This plant prefers bright to medium light, average to cool room temperature, and high humidity. It works well with grow light. It grows and spreads slowly, and it stays relatively small, making it ideal for terrariums. Phytonia is a small plant with leaf patterns. They are distinctive and beautiful due to their vibrant colors and color combinations. They grow as ground cover under tree canopies in tropical rainforests. As a result, they remain small and prefer indirect light, which is perfect for closed terrariums. If it becomes too dry, it will wilt dramatically, but it will recover after watering. They are also very easy to propagate, simply cut any healthy stem and plant it directly in the terrarium. It will begin to grow without any prior propagation. This is how they look now in a closed terrarium after six months. You can see all of the plants before and after in my other video about how I made this terrarium. I'll include a link in the description. Heartleaf philodendron is a member of the Araceae family. It is a tropical evergreen foliage plant native to South and Central America, as well as the West Indies. This plant, which grows beneath the rainforest canopy, prefers indirect bright light. Another plant that thrives in the terrarium is the heartleaf philodendron. It prefers high humidity and constantly, evenly damp soil in full light or shade. This philodendron is about 7 years old and has large leaves and many stems. It is a low-maintenance houseplant with few requirements. I used it a lot for propagation. Before putting the heartleaf philodendron in a terrarium, it should be propagated in water. 
partly philodendrons thrive in water-only containers as well. These cuttings have been in water for approximately 8 months. The best thing about them is that regular cuttings allow you to control their growth. For months ago, I planted this small philodendron in a pot. It has many small leaves and is the perfect size for a terrarium. I will use it in my next closed terrarium. Pilea glauca, Pilea silver sparkle, Grey Baby Tears are few of the commonly used names. This plant is relatively new, it has not yet received an official scientific name. No one knows for certain where this plant originated, but it is possible that, like many other Pileas, originated in the tropical rainforests of South America. Pilea glauca thrives in direct, bright sunlight. It can tolerate direct morning sun and thrives under a full-spectrum grow light, making it ideal for terrariums. Pilea glauca tolerates typical indoor humidity well, but prefers higher humidity levels, ideally at least around 60%. From my experience, the foliage and colors of Pilea are more beautiful when grown in a terrarium. To propagate, select a healthy section of stem that contains a few leaves and at least one node. Cut it off and plant it directly in your terrarium. It will begin to root in a few days. Here's how it looks after a few months in a terrarium. I think you can see the difference in the colors and leaves. They are all beautiful and healthy. Chlorophytum comosum, also known as spider plant, is a plant native to South Africa that belongs to the Anthericaceae family. It's a perennial, evergreen herb that's a popular and easy-to-grow houseplant. Spider plants thrive in direct sunlight that is bright to moderate. Excessive and prolonged sunlight can easily cause brown spots on the plant's delicate leaves. With its narrow and long leaves with green and white stripes, the spider plant can add more charm to your terrarium. It can tolerate high humidity, making it suitable for most terrariums. Just keep an eye on the spider plant's growth because it has the potential to outgrow your terrarium. To avoid this, you should cut it on a regular basis. The propagation is very easy. They produced spider plant babies, which are identical to the mother plant. They are called offshoots. You can cut one offshoot and plant it directly in a terrarium. Make sure that the offshoot has at least one small root before you separate it from the mother plant. English ivy or Hedera helix is an evergreen perennial. It is a member of the Araliaceae family. English ivy can be used as a ground cover because it spreads horizontally. However, it is also a climber because of its aerial rootlets, which allow it to climb. English ivy plants thrive in partial to full shade. They do not tolerate direct sunlight. Ivy prefers a moderate to high humidity level of around 40%. English ivy can tolerate lower humidity levels, though this is not preferred. Therefore, this also makes them suitable for terrariums. It is a fast, aggressive grower that is considered invasive in many areas, so keep an eye on its growth and prune it on a regular basis to keep it from outgrowing your terrarium. 
The English ivy is one of the easiest plants to propagate. Simply take 4 to 5 inch long cuttings of the plant, with at least 3 to 4 leaf nodes. You can directly plant the cuttings in a terrarium. Tradescantia polida or purple heart is native to the Gulf Coast region of eastern Mexico. Tradescantia polida is an evergreen perennial plant of scrambling stature. As a tropical plant, the purple heart plant should be kept in warm, humid temperatures. Purple heart can be used as a ground cover, trailer, and terrarium plant. Purple heart thrives in moist environments, making it an excellent choice for terrariums. It is a low-maintenance plant that can be grown in full sun to partial shade. If kept in full sun, the color will be purple, and if kept in shade, the color will be green. This is how it looks in a terrarium. The green color differs with the purple color of the plant growing in the sun on the balcony. Purple heart grows quickly, so it will need to be pruned on a regular basis. I usually cut it once every three months. If you like my content, please support my channel by clicking on the subscribe button. It means a lot to me and it's completely free for you. Thanks for watching.